Hi folks, it's uh, Steve here from Analytics in Action. What I want to do today is give you a demo on how to create a sub-report using SQL Server reporting services. So I'll cover off um, four things in this tutorial. First, first of all, I'll talk about the goal of the tutorial. Then I'll talk about what is a um, sub-report. Then I'll give you a live demo of creating a sub-report. And then I'll just talk a bit about some additional learning resources for um, SQL 2008 and 2012. So in terms of the goal of the tutorial, it's all about creating sub-reports. So um, it's um, essentially you would, what we're going to do is join two reports together to produce a, um, a summary report. One report's a parent, the other one's a child, and then we'll basically amalgamate the two. So what is a sub-report? Essentially, yeah, it's one report that sits inside another report. Um, the main report is... Um, is a container and then um, it's a container for one or more related sub reports and the main report and the sub reports are related via um, parameters um, okay and there's just a um, couple caveats um, because sub reports involve multiple reports running at the same time they can be fairly resource um, heavy um, so they can cause a high load on the report server. So you have to be able to um, take this into consideration when building sub-reports. Okay, so um, the, for the live demo, I'll, uh, I'll create a sub-report. I'm going to make a couple of assumptions. One, that you can already create um, basic report using um, reporting services, reporting services, sorry, um, using, say, the report wizard. And then you also know how to create a parameter query. If you don't, um, I have got tutorials of how to do both of those on my website, analyticsnaction.com. So in terms of creating a basic report, this is covered off in how to create a basic SQL Server reporting services project with drill down functionality using the report wizard. Uh, that'll give you the basic report creation skills. And the other one is creating a SQL Server reporting services report that contains a parameter query. Um, so if you cover off those, you'll be able to get up to speed pretty, pretty quickly. Um, okay, so we'll just jump straight into the um, live demo. So what I've done is I've already created a couple of reports. So I've got the main report. Um, and it has a parameter query in it. So the parameter query runs on employee's name, uh, Bob, not Rob. So this main query is basically provides an employee, their cost center, and then says what their um, what their ex um, expenses are by the city in which those expenses were accrued. Um, and so I'll just show you actually what the uh, what the how the query is, sorry, how the parameter is created underneath. So I'm just going to design. Then you go view, report data. Click on data sets, expand it out. Right click um, the name of the data set query. And you'll see here that we have a, a parameter has been created here. So you can define a parameter by going equals at and then the name of the parameter. And that's an added under the filter column. So we've done the same thing, so I'll just uh, close that up. So we've done the same thing with the uh, with the sub-report, so I'll open that up. That's in design mode, view, report data, data sets, query, and we have the same parameter query here, same parameter. So that's the employee's name. So the main report and sub-report are linked via employee name. So that'll be the, the employee name will be the same for both of those. Right, so let's go in and actually create the sub report. So we're going to um, open up the main report in design mode. I'm going to just drag down, create a bit more workspace for myself. Then go across into report items, drag in sub report, drop it there. We can actually just play around with the size of it. A little bit so we're just going to actually I'll just click on both items both objects and then just go format align lefts so that means they're both in the same 
uh, both pretty much lined up um, so that's all pretty good so what we're going to do now is right click on sub report deselect de the top the top one there just right click sub report go sub report properties we're going to give it a name so the sub report is called um, I think that's month there's month data in the sub report um, and the report we'll use for the sub report is the one I've called sub report the only other thing is to click the parameters so we're going to add a parameter uh, add the parameter linkage so we're going to add the parameter name and it's going to link on the name field click OK and that is it so we're just going to go run preview again it'll pull up the parameter so I'll just go Bob and it has created the report obviously the um, I still haven't aligned the name and the cost center there but we can just follow the same process as I did for aligning these two boxes um, and that is um, that's pretty much sub reports for you so just jump back okay so the only other thing is additional learning resources if you found this useful it might be worth um, so either subscribing to my YouTube channel so you just need to click on the subscribe button um, above the video uh, the other option is to go across to my website analyticsinaction.com and just have a look at all the videos there I've got stacks and stacks of videos on all sorts of aspects of analytics um, very heavily focused on SQL Server so things like reporting services integration services a little bit of analysis services um, work there and just pretty much all about learning um, SQL Server in general so um, duck across and um, take a look